Godfrey. Tries to spin away on the board, Sadat. In the, uh, the Canadian defence under a lot of pressure. It's come to Andrew Lord here down behind the goal, and this is dangerous for the Devils. Lord walks in, shoots, and it's up in the top of the net for Andrew Lord. A really nice goal for the Devils as they just walked it in from in behind the goal line, Stu. Yeah, they, walk, they had a bit of a battle in around the boards, and Blaze looked like they were going to clear it, but then Lord comes around, he squeezes out into the net and then just gets in front of the net and just bobbles one over Stuart's top shoulder, and he, he's looking up to the heavens. He can't quite see it there. Matt Selby chips that one in, gets round Trevor Hendricks. Mark Smith gets hit hard by Ross Venus. Quinnell throws it in behind Venus. He's got Selby in support. He uses Quinnell. Pass across the blue line. Shot comes in. Dallow tipped off the post! And Matt Selby in front of net can't backhand it in. Oh, it's tipped in front. I was just trying to see who that was for the commentary Blazers. Petrus will pick that one up. Top of the slot shoots and a good stop from Ben Bounds as the Blaze now putting up on some more pressure. Hudson and Selby collide in the boards. Petrus will wrench that free. Jorgensen shoots through traffic and that one goes wide. Matt Selby looked like he'd got a piece of it on its way through. Fisher spinning away. Tate will come into the play. Here is Ashley Tate. And his pass is picked off by Morissette and the Devils will come up ice. And the Devils nearly uh, tying it up. Cowley holds on, looks for the trailing pass. Tate, he shoots and scores. Ashley Tate gets the game tying goal. His ninth of the year and the Blaze answer back. That's an excellent response from the Coventry Blaze. Firstly with Ross Venus almost getting one in. Selby then scoop it in. We see Ross Cowley here breaking down the right wing and Ash Tate has just drifted all the way to the left-hand side, gets the pass across and he slots it five hole to get the equalising goal. Yeah. Lord fires it in into the corner it goes all the way around for Drew Fisher to contest with Hendricks Colligan oh keeps hold of it in the zone <laughs> as the Devils will walk in top of the circle shot just wide of Brian Stewart's net Hendricks will shoot one on the turnaround pucks hit escape it's in front Andrew Lord turns and it comes off the skate for Labic before being dispatched by her dad under the feet of Boris Volabic, he couldn't dig it out. And the Devils get their lead back just after the halfway mark. That's a fantastic finish from Joey Haddad here. You see great fluidity in the zone there. And Lord is looking and looking for it. But then Haddad there just scoops it up and slots it over the sprawling Brian Stewart for the, for the second goal for the Cardiff Devils. Drew Fisher will wind one up. Comes off Mark Smith, it falls out to Robinson in front. Back and oh, it comes off Bounds' stick as he was taking away the low part of the net and did enough to prevent Brem Robinson scoring in consecutive nights before the Devils will clear that into the uh, blaze. And a, a dangerous moment for the Devils and an awkward bounce of the pucks do. Very awkward bounce indeed, and Bounds was lucky just to get a little something on that there. Oh, Petrus gets a lot of that and puts it block aside down low on Ben Bounds. We talked about Ben, uh, Ro uh, ben uh, Robinson trying to score in consecutive nights. Jordan Petrus does that here, and it's a 2-2 hockey game. Yeah, you see the puck coming across from Drew Fisher. He manages to find Jordan Petrus and with an absolute laser of a shot there past Ben Bounds. Pass comes in for Haddad, he plays it back as the Devils will enter the zone across the blue line and a shot, a good stop from Stewart but the rebound was there. Plays gather it up as Brett Robinson attacks. Good pass off to Fisher in space. He button hooks. Looks for a pass, throws one in front! It's there on the back door and the Blaze have squeezed it in! Or have they? The light's gone on. And now it's up for Mike Hicks to make a big call. As Brett Robinson tapped it weakly, his stick was completely tied up here, Stu, but somehow got it towards goal. And has Bounds done enough? It looks like he might have done, actually. It looks like it's difficult for us to tell on those, but the, one of the telling things here is that the, the reaction of the Blaze players. As Brett Robinson tries to control that one. Hudson picked it up. And the Devils will <coughs> take this one back into their own zone before advancing. Hudson. 
got away from Cowley and Fisher who replied pressure, but Jordan Petrus has picked this one up in some room. Petrus to the forehand chips, he scores! Jordan Petrus is second of the night for his tenth of the year, and he's on a natural hat trick as the Lays go 3 2 up. This excellent turnover again in the neutral zone. Carl Hudson gets robbed of the puck here as they cross the line. Petrus just comes straight forward with one thing on his mind. Hendricks can't get across to cover him, and another absolute laser of a shot. Godfrey, picked off by Colligan. Now here's her dad. Stretched devil on the right hand side. Colligan trying to stay on side. Her dad gets round Quinnell. The devils are lurking. Richardson, a poor pass, but it gets through to Lord. Lord battling with Godfrey. There's a battle in front of net between her dad and Quinnell also. Here's Hotham stepping up into the play. Tries to get a wrap around, turns, plays it into the slot. Oh, and it's fanned upon before Richardson dispatches the loose puck to tie this game up at three apiece. Some hard work from the Cardiff Devils. It gets well rewarded there, and uh, we see Mark Richardson take the uh, take the final shot and get the goal to equalise the scores. Lots of buck uh, battling in and around the net. He just squirts out across the net, and Mark Richardson doesn't need a second opportunity to loft it over Brian Stewart, who's in the, in a poor position in relation to where the puck is. Here's Jordan Petrus, he gets some space. Good work from Petrus. He turns, shoots, it's blocked by Hudson. And Petrus will pick up the loose pot behind the net. Puts on the brakes, sends it to Mike Quinnell. Godfrey calls for the pass. Josh Godfrey gets the pass, and his shot's blocked on the way through by the Devils' defence. Good work from Chris Culligan. Fisher behind the net waiting now, looking for an option. Tries to send it out in front for Culligan, who's got the jump on... Uh, Josh Godfrey, here's Havato. Havato in, backhand, and it's directed wide of Brian Stewart. I thought that was directed over his shoulder for a second and into the back of the net, but uh, alas, not for the Devils. Hotham <laughs> keeps play alive along to the half wall. Havato, Salters, Lee Salters, stick handling away. Gets around Fisher. Quinnell will take over defensive duties. Quinnell hits him hard into the boards and comes off worse. Here's Havato. Back to the point, Salters in front of net. Hotham. Stick handles round Tate, who lifts his stick, and the Blaze will have to go short-handed as Ashley Tate used the can opener on Andrew Hotham, who was looking to uh, get as close to Brian Stewart before pulling the trigger as possible. And we're into the last two minutes of this overtime period. Here's Hotham. The Blaze will just be kind of gasping for a shootout now. Hotham across to set. Back to Hotham. Petrus, the top of the triangle, comes to Doucet and he scores! The Devils get the extra point, and the danger man with his 21st of the year gets the game winner for the Devils, and the fans are sent into raptures. Good night, Coventry. Yeah, good night, Coventry, and it was that man, Doucet, who came with the puck coming across back door. Stewart can't get across with his lateral movement. It was a, an excellently rocket of a shot there from Doucet that gets in behalf of the Blaze netminder.